Doris and Michelle, we say good evening from a very loud Energy Solutions Arena. Loud until L.A. got off to a good shooting start. The Lakers have hit five of their first nine. Lamar Odom just got a goaltending call on a three-point play. He comes to the line. Every Laker has scored. Hubie Brown, it's L.A. 11, trying to knock out the Jazz. Utah with six. And what did you see in the first 420 as we were watching Cleveland close out their game? Mike, the Laker transition game is on fire. They're scoring almost every other opportunity, and then they're attacking the basket. If you stop them, their big men are getting wide open 10 to 15 foot jump shots. Boozer, Okur, and Ronnie Burr have the field goals for the Jazz. The Lakers have three team fouls, the Jazz two. That gets you caught up as Darren Williams having a great series, averaging 22 and a half a game, makes it 12 to eight. We've had no subs, so the starting five still in, 445 into this one. It's Kobe who says the back is feeling better than before game five on Wednesday. Attacking Karolinko with the block, but on the way up, Ronnie Brewer is called for the foul. There's no need to foul Kobe. You just got to force him to make the shots. We think that he is, he's not as quick when he's 100%. There's no doubt about that. So force him when he gets by you to make the shot. Let's see if he has the elevation early. Here's an update on Kobe's back from our Lisa Salters. Hi, well, Lisa. Hey, Michael. What a difference a couple of days made. Kobe told me during crew game warm-ups with a big smile on his face that the back feels great. He just said he may not be 100%, but he's definitely close to it. So I asked him, what did uh, Gary Beattie, the head trainer, do? Some voodoo magic or something? He said that. He said, but also a lot of physical therapy by a woman up in L.A. by the name of Judy Cito. I don't know who she is, but if you're a Lakers fan, I guess you probably want to send her some flowers right now. Hello, Judy. The key to game six. Ronnie Brewer, who hit a dunk earlier, hits that one. Brewer was seven of nine from the field a lot early on in the game five loss at Staples on Wednesday night. Well, Mike, the majority of his points come off of movement in the painted area, you know, cutting to the basket and cutting hard. Odom shooting 60%, the field missed it. Good pass, Brian. The sole challenge by Okur. Utah back the other way. Now, this is the part of the game. Utah must run the ball back. They're having no trouble scoring in the transition game. Loser who must get going, misses. That was a tough shot. He's one of three from the field in the early going. And in transition, nobody stopped Kobe. Now, of course, that time faded, Mike. He was right there. All he had to do was step in front of Kobe, take the charge, but more important, force Kobe to make a move offensively. Seven fast break points. I know if you watch the first game, this is a shock to the system, seeing all these baskets. <laughs> Williams off the miss, and Gasol goes up and rebounds it for Los Angeles. Well, in this series, the Lakers are scoring 110, and Utah at 108. So we know that they both can score the ball. The big question is, can Utah stop the Lakers tonight in this film? Williams, who has been so big, matched up against Derek Fisher. It's been a good one to watch throughout this series. Yeah, you have to get him when he's open. Dale Poor was late. That's the second time he's been down there. And Karolinko had three perfect shirts around him. The block sends Kobe the other way. Radmanovic with a finish. He opened the game with a three. Hit that two with a layup. Similar to the start Radmanovic had in game five. And we have a timeout. Just underway. Kobe Bryant feeling good. Six points, two rebounds. And the Lakers do. What the Celtics could not do, and New Orleans could not do, and they win game six. Lakers pushing it effectively with that, and only one turnover, as you mentioned, with those nine fast break points. Let's see how Utah gets going on offense. No changes at the timeout by Phil Jackson or Jerry Sloan. Two guys have done this so many times in the playoffs. Carolingo, tough catch, the only starter not to score. Lost the handle, Fisher runs with Kobe. Look out here now. Nobody stops Fisher, and Williams picks up his first personal foul. Mike, when you do defensive drills, whether it's in the grammar school, high school, college, pro level, you always must stop the ball. If you do not stop the ball, force the ball to change direction. And that's what you teach. Get in front of the man at the top of the circle in the transition game and force him to pass the basketball. That way, you have an opportunity, maybe of a turnover. 14 fouls on Utah, three on the Lakers. That one picked up by Williams. Derek Fisher, who in this series, you see his numbers there, he has hit 
10 three-point field goals and 10 two-point field goals. But one number not there that is huge is steals. He has 18 steals in the first five games of this year. Like he's playing great basketball, playing with a ton of confidence. Ten-point lead for the Lakers, and Boozer coming to the basket is fouled. If that's the soul, it's Odom. It is Odom. So Lamar picks up his first. Now that's the first time that Boozer has made a catch and has turned and really attacked the basket. He's got to do much more than that. Whether Gasol has him or Odom, he can beat both of them off the dribble. He's a good offensive rebounder if he should shoot and miss. Let's change that. That was Gasol. We were right the first time, so there's two fouls here on Pau Gasol. That happened in game one, but didn't really impact the outcome that much. On ABC on Sunday, there will be a seventh game, Cleveland and Boston. Coverage begins at 3 Eastern. TNT on Monday will have game seven of San Antonio, New Orleans, and perhaps this game seven. And on Tuesday here on ESPN, it'll be game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, either Cleveland at Detroit or Detroit at Boston. And remember, the draft lottery comes before that, so all you teams that didn't make the playoffs and fans of those teams, Tuesday night a big night for you. You'll see it all on ESPN. Odom from Gasol, the beautiful bounce pass from Powell. Now, Powell Gasol's off to a great start. He has a couple of blocks, four rebounds, and a few assists. All you have to do is put the ball in the post and get all of the cutters out of that triangle. If you're open, the ball will be right there for you. Matt Harpering in off the bench. They did change that foul back to Odom, so that is his first. They double check twice at the table and go back to Odom. So he has one. Gasol has one. Bryant on the handoff. Short rebound by Boozer. Paul Millsap and Matt Harpering in off the bench earlier than normal for Jerry Sloan. Now the Utah bench is winning defense contribution by nine points a game in this area. Harpering tried to sneak the baseline pass to Burr, but Derek Fisher knows every cut and turn in this offense was waiting. Turnover. Last touch by Millsap. It'll stay down here with the Lakers. Great start for L.A. 8 of 16 from the field. 5 of 5 from the line. We saw the concern on Jerry Sloan's face. Teams have not made big comebacks in this series. Gasol. 24, 12. The Lakers on top by a dozen. Mike, the early going, their offense is beautiful. The spacing is excellent. They're getting what they want on their passing and cutting. You play them one on one, they're scoring. Then they're hurting you in the transition flow. Bryant gave that shot to Brewer. He missed it. Right now, the Jazz are in some trouble. Well, they, they're shooting less than 33%, Mike, putting a lot of pressure on their defense, and it's keeping the Lakers in the open floor. Oh, Bryant hangs and scores. Jerry Slow may have to do something here. Another sub or a timeout. 26 to 12. Miles Corver is going to come in looking for offense. Fans try to get the Jazz going in this must win game for Utah. Down 3 2 in the series. Williams put it at the top. Got to the rack. You have to see much more of that. He's got to become a little selfish here, Mike, because the rest of the guys are not taking advantage of their situation when they make the catch. He, he is shooting a 50% guy, whether it's threes or whether it's two, and he's making it happen. Somehow Gasol able to hang on. Rodmanovic there for the tip. He has seven points. Now everybody's upset here right now. They're upset at the refereeing. They're upset at their team shooting a bad percentage and also the careless passing in the last three minutes of play. Harpering comes off the Millsap screen, and here comes Millsap baseline, missed the reverse, and fouls Kobe Bryant. One thing that's missing, Mike, offensive rebounding. They're shooting a bad percentage, but they are not getting the second chance up. Keep an eye on Kobe. This is a tough shot. How about the fact that he just regroups while he's in the air to bank that in? This is a gimme because it comes off of the turnover. The Lakers lead by 14, and Coach, they have gotten some easy opportunities as they shoot 55% at the start. Mike, everything's coming out of the transition game. The long pass on the release by Kobe. And then anytime you turn it over and you do not get back, if you like a sieve, it's a layup drill. Give the Lakers the credit. They're very sharp here early. And then once they get in the half-court offense, the cutters are open on the baseline or down the middle on the cuts. The post people are making the necessary passes.
And you see all the starters have at least four points. Rodmanovich with his seven goes to the bench now and Luke Walton checks in for L.A. as Kobe Bryant comes to the line. When last we left it was a foul on Paul Millsap. That foul put Utah over the limit. Fifth foul of the quarter. He will get one more. Kobe, he's 4 of 22 shooting threes in this series. That's the only thing he hasn't done in an outstanding fashion in the first five games. Yeah, but that's okay because he's leading the team. And when you consider the fact that in scoring, he's only averaging 33 a game. Is that right? all? With seven rebounds and seven assists. That's well, all. But you okay. rounded it up to get him to seven assists. He's like 6.9. Well, well, we, <laughs> we, we tell Kobe, uh, Kobe, you better get out and start working on your three-point game in the afternoon, all right? Uh, the point is he has been sensational after this MVP season. Boozer forcing it, trying to get going. With a nice spin move, cutting into the largest lead of the early evening. Mike, that's there for him every time. Just don't settle for the jump shot. You get kick this out in a one-on-one -on -one to take him because Powell is not going to foul. He's going to try to go for the block. Bryant cuts feed by Walton. Couldn't get the basket. Matt Harpering with defense on Kobe now. Darren Williams with the push. But I no set in traffic. Corpus in the corner. Wait, I'm going to get it. Oh, nice feed, Williams. Harpering didn't the first time. Didn't the second time. Resets it. Corpus, three. Kept alive by Millsap and Harpering, the kind of possession the Jazz need to get a kickstart in this first quarter. Now, in the first four games of this series, the Utah Jazz dominated the offensive board play. They would shoot and miss, go get the rebound, put the ball back in, and they were averaging over 20 points a game in second chance points. Now, that was cut down drastically in game five in L.A., and again here early. Even though they were shooting 33%, there was a lack of offensive rebounding, only one before that flurry that we just witnessed. We saw the plus 32 for the series. It was only 17-11 in favor of the Jazz. In the 111-104 Laker home win Wednesday night in game five. Sasha Vujicic, who was one of 11 from the field, one of eight shooting threes in that game, checks in now. The Laker bench has struggled. In the last couple of games, they have only scored 16 and 13 points. But we have to remember that the starters are playing 40 minutes. Brian, Gasol, and Odom, who are playing outstanding basketball, all play over 40 minutes. And you figure they'll be in high minutes tonight. You've got Saturday and Sunday before a potential game seven on Monday night. Walton, Luke off the mark. He was so good against Denver, struggling a bit more in this series. Had an upper respiratory infection before game one. After Gasol's sixth rebound, keeps the trip alive. Farmar, who's lost his confidence, to Vujicic. There you go. After the one of 11 in game five, one for one in game six. But when you're shooting it over 50%, sometimes over 60 in the playoffs, you know he's not bashful, Mike. Oh. Uh, he's not going to take it off the dribble. We know that he has an injured toe, and he says that there is pain, but he'll make the three. And he's part of this bench that was better in the last series, very good during the regular season. Absolutely. But they have struggled in this series, only getting 10 points per game out of Walton, Farmar, Kujicic, and Turia. DJ Beng has only played three minutes in the series. Ira Newbel and Chris Mim have not played. One more coming for Ronnie Price after the foul on Farmar. And remember Sunday, for the second time in three Sundays, it's Game 7 from Boston. Cleveland or Boston fight to face Detroit in the Eastern Finals as the NBA playoffs coverage on ABC. Three Eastern time to pregame. Tip time just after that from the Garden in Boston. Mike, this is the 21st quarter in this series. And this will be the ninth time that the Lakers have scored over 30 points. Wow. That wow. is a ton of points. Five seconds, the difference between the game and the shot clock. Walton handles at the top. You heard the booze as Ronnie Turioff injected in game four here in Utah. For the hard foul on Ronnie Price, checked in. Walton, three. Luke missed it. Lose the rebound with time. Get it out. But not anymore. Price from deep. Let's it go. The Lakers shoot 50% while Utah is just 7 of 22. What a great quarter, too, Coach. 33 points, 50% from the field, one turnover. Lakers, a great start. Trying to eliminate the Jazz and get to the Western Conference Finals. Lead by 13.
Welcome back to Salt Lake City where the Lakers are up by 13. Phil, you guys got a lot of high percentage shots in that first quarter. What was working so well with your offense? Well, we got some turnovers, obvious turnovers that led to some runouts that kept them from getting their second shots opportunities like they had at the end of the court. What I really like is how you've grown a couple inches today. Well, I'm very considerate, Phil. You told me that you had trouble bending over because I'm so short. You Much didn't better. hear me. I'm trying to help out. We can really hear. Kobe told us before the game that his back feels great. How does he look out there to you? He looks all right. He's measured. You can see he hasn't gone full out yet. He's still playing a measured game. All right. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you to Phil. That was good. No, that, I like that. That, that was, was good. <laughs> I thought she grew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. What, what about this guy in the measured game that we just had in the picture there, Kobe Bryant? He only has 10 points, <laughs> four for four from the line, three rebounds and assists. Most guys would like that for a half. Measurements work, right? Corver to Harper to Okur to start the quarter. A Corver three is off. He's over two tonight. And coach in the series, he's six and twenty behind the triple tape. Yeah, very good point, Mike. He's only shooting thirty-eight percent in this series, but we know that he's a street shooter, and that's what you're looking for. Williams' travel is the second Los Angeles turnover as Sasha was immersed by the Jazz defense. Now with Pau Gasol out there with the second unit, you have Turiev and Vujicic and then Walton and Farmer. They move extremely quick, and you have to be careful when Pau Gasol handles the ball with the stick. With this group of guys, they run quick on the opposite side of the floor from where he's positioned. Ronnie Price, the third year man with the big block and the four stitches in game four. Another tough pass becomes the fourth Jazz turnover. Remember, they have 15 first half turnovers in game five. They can do it. The Lakers can force you into a lot of problems because of their length and their quickness. Farmar and Turiaf miscommunicate. It stays alive. Here's Farmar off the mark. Okur, the rebound for Utah. Now, one of the Achilles heel of the second unit is you can run back at them. You've got to force the action because you can score in the open floor. Bill Sapp right into Turiaf's chest. Tied up inside. Corp are going to try the corner now. Okay. Just stay with this kid. Mike, it doesn't matter how many he misses because he is a real three-point threat for this group that's out on the floor. After he was traded from Philadelphia right after Christmas, they were 38-12. That's the second best in the league. Rock inside by Millsap. Last touch, Utah. A new shot clock, and Gary Williams back in for Ronnie Price. Mike, I like the defensive adjustment that time. Once again, the ball goes into Gasol. You make the cut, he's going to give it back to you. But the back end of the Utah defense read the play perfectly. Vujicic off the screen, knocks it down. This guy can really shoot the ball. Uh, the, the year that he has had for them, and now at playoff time, he can shoot a high percentage and score quickly. Corver, hit by Vujicic, and the foul is called. These two have had a very interesting back <laughs> and Hey, when a playoff series goes six, you're going to get matchups and get under guys' skin. Vujicic ended up picking up a technical foul uh, because of his back and forth with Corver in a key spot in game five Wednesday night. Horford at the line, 109 of 119 from the strike. Regular season and postseason. Bounce that one down. Visit NBA.com. Jump right into these playoffs at NBAStore.com. Find the best selection of team jerseys, hats, T-shirts, and more. NBAStore.com. Every team. One store. Two free throws. What was a 30 to 14 Laker lead a few moments ago is now 35-25. Well, you expect that with this group, and you know that Utah would not continue to shoot in the low 30s. Walton three. Luke gets a big one from the outside. Mike, when you talk about three-point shooting, the Lakers team, not only do you have on the first unit Fisher and Bonmanovic, but on this unit you have Farmer, Walton, and Gujicic, all three guys shooting a high percentage. They're hitting nearly 40% in threes in this series. That's why we say they're so explosive in the open game, and then if you just fall asleep on them and you, you just make a defensive blunder, they're shooting the three. Farmar awaits to Gasol. Right back to Jordan Farmar. Return to Powell. 
Horford goes up to get the rebound. Working with Williams, Millsap, Harper, and O'Cool. Now Williams just got to take this guy. He does, and Soul was waiting for him. And the Lakers come back. Well, he thought he got hit. From this angle, it looked like he got hit. But once again, Pal Casal with another shot block. Vujicic on the run. Nice take by Vujicic. <laughs> You got to be careful now. If you're Utah, you must be careful because not only are they shot blocking you at one end of the floor, but their transition game is just electric. Williams and Millsap with the two-man game. Millsap to the basket and a chance for a three-point play after this timeout. When, when you have a strength, and that is attacking the basket off the dribble to get to the foul line, and on second chance points, you must continue to do that. Don't go away from what has been good to you in this series. Nine time scores, and we, they have not scored 90 points in the previous six games, Mike. So it's on this coaching staff now. They've got to make some major adjustments before Sunday to get their primetime guys good looks. High percentage looks in their best game. Harper the steal at Farmar. He'll come to the free throw line as Jordan picked up the foul on the open floor. And when the Lakers, that was a turnover situation, but when they see Jordan Farmar, they attack. And Phil Jackson's going to go back to his starting backcourt, the 12-year veterans, Fisher and Kobe. Since Harpering and Millsap have come in the game, good things have happened. They give you that energy, not only at the offensive end, defensive end, and then on the rebounding. Plus, they'll body up the people that they're playing, and they'll get deflection, and the rest of the guys can benefit from that. Luke Walton and Farmar come out. By the way, Coach, at that last timeout, C.J. Miles came out, third-year player straight out of high school, Skyline High School in Dallas, Texas. He came in and gave six good minutes to Jerry Sloan in game five, four points on two of two for the field. Mike, the man could score the ball. He's a youngster. He's learning the game. He's learning how to defend. But he is going to be a force down the line. He's got a ton of talent. He can make the threes. And he's a scorer. And everyone needs scores for their backup unit. Bryant attacked Harper and bumped on the way by. Joey Crawford has the call on Memino Core. Joey works the game with James Capers and Scott Foster tonight. Now just keep an eye on this. Harpering is smacking Kobe around. He, he plays him. He bodies him up. Now it's different than Brewer. Brewer plays you by moving his feet. Uh, Harpering plays you with body, upper body, smack you around, try to take away the lane. Perlenko, he moves his feet, and then he's looking for the shot block to try to intimidate you. So what they do is they run these three different people at Kobe every quarter and force him into adjustment. Now, I would say he's adjusting pretty good <laughs> when we're saying that, you know, he's only scoring 33 a game and shooting 50%. And all these free throws, and if you're a Jazz fan, it has frustrated you the number of calls that Brian has got. But it's so much of it is the aggressive nature. Kobe goes home or road. He goes to the basket and causes the officials to have to make a decision. Mike, he's averaging 15 and a half free throws a game because he can beat anyone off the dribble to the rim. And he can finish. But more important, he'll take the physical punishment to get the 15 free throw attempts. We saw that with the back injury game four. He still right. played through that in overtime. The lead is 13. It's been as large as 16 for the Lakers trying to join Detroit in the NBA's Final Four. Okor fading. Harper came over to get it, but Odom took it away. Struggle for the starters for Utah out of the gate tonight. They combined for seven of 21 from the field. Bryant around Harper, Miles waiting, foul on Matt. Now that is a smart offensive player being played by a guy who's trying to intimidate him with physical play. Now Harper's done a good job on Kobe. Now Kobe set him up by calling for the pick and roll. No way was Kobe coming off that screen into the middle. He wanted that isolation on the baseline because after two bounces, he's ahead of Harper. Eighth free throw attempt of the game will be coming up uh, home or road. He has been good, just slightly less in terms of the points and field goal percentage on the road. Now remember, he's only attempting 19 shots a game, and that's all. And when you consider the points, 
And then remember, even with the bad back, he's still averaging seven rebounds and seven assists. Small forwards don't get seven rebounds on a lot of teams in this way. Back to a 14-point lead. It's been double digits really since uh, before the midway mark of the first quarter. C.J. Miles missed it. Okor tipped it, missed it, kept it alive. The second chance points, something Utah needs. Late find of Harper draws a foul on Gasol. This will be his second. And three throws coming from that. Now, I like the pass. I like the pass from Okor. Okor could have definitely taken that jump shot, but he knew that Harpering had a better shot underneath. And then, nice head fake by Harpering, putting another foul on, the, on Gasol in that type of a situation. That is sixth year in Utah. This is the first, remember, Sunday night baseball presented by Taco Bell. After baseball tonight, it is the Mets. on Sunday night at 8 Eastern. John Miller, Joe Morgan, and Peter Gammons have it for you on ESPN. It's also available for you on ESPN Radio. Now, Harpring is doing a good job getting to the line. He's 12 for 15 from the foul line. Brian Wright at Harpring, the beautiful find of Odom. You cannot turn your head when Brian or Gasol have the basketball. And that's what's happening. Odom is making himself come alive here right now. He has not made that many opportunities looking for a shot. Oh, Williams, deep three with Gasol's long. He's got over seven foot reach in his face there. Mike, that is his 14th three make in this, five, in this uh, six game series. Kobe responds. This Rebound Miles, the lead to Dozen. Up to the halfway point. Fisher knocked it away. Yeah, Fish Fisher's hands are terrific. Miles found him. Continuation. James Caper says score and one. And the fans say no. If you're going to foul in that situation, you've got to make sure that you foul and the guy does not elevate. Keep an eye on this now. See, so you have the opportunity. Don't run away from him. You got to tie him up because that's a continuation play and, and a good call by Jimmy Capers. By the book, that is continuation. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Yeah. yeah. I Derek, understand the fans' frustration, but by the book, that's the right call. Derek Fisher is such a nuisance in, in this series. Not only does he have the 18 steals, but he has so many deflections, Mike, that set up the fast break. 14-2, the fast break points. In favor of the Lakers, they lead by 15. Karolinko scoreless, still scoreless. He missed the dunk. Fisher the other way, Bryant trailing. Nice. Kobe is oh. throws it down. By the way, the back is okay. <laughs> he just, it looked like he came off a trampoline. Great play by Fisher. Beautiful outlet pass to start the break. And remember, from early in the second quarter on in this series, as Luger lays it in, a team has not come from behind to win the game. Last 35 minutes or so of any of the first five games, let alone being down 17 as the Jazz were a moment ago, halfway through the second. Well, the Laker offense has just been beautiful to watch. Their transition game is unstoppable, and then their defense has been terrific. Bujicic, twice off the 10. Booze with a rebound. He has six of those. Okay, they're going to their flex offense right now. And that's with all the down screenings on both sides of the lane. Williams missed it, rebounded by Gasol. He already has 10. I want to give the Lakers a ton of credit, Mike. They are taking care of the defensive boards because we're talking about the opposition, the Utah Jazz, who have punished them. They've averaged over 20 points a game in the series before this evening on second chance points. Well, when it's going your way, it is. And when it's not, Andre Karolinko cannot dent the scoring column. And on the other end, this is how to. Kobe has 15. The Lakers lead by that same number.
We've been in many buildings where we've seen that. Washington, Absolutely, Mike. Really. Uh, in Washington almost every night, especially yeah. the playoffs honoring uh, injured soldiers, women and men from Walter Reed Medical Center. Just sold the dunk. It is all Lakers right now. So congratulations to all the NBA teams for that wonderful effort this year. Mike, that was a beautiful play set up coming out of the huddle. They wanted a screen and roll for Kobe Bryant. If you notice, the action started one way, came back. Well executed. Oh, cool. Yeah. Get it. Kirilenko finally gets on the scoreboard as he tips in after three misses. Now, if you're looking at this game and you're thinking it's all offense for the Lakers, it's not. 31% shooting for the Utah Jazz. Plus, the Lakers have held them up to only five offensive rebounds. Vujicic against the zone with a three. We saw Jerry Sloan mix in a couple of zone possessions in game five. Vujicic goes right over the top. Now, Vujicic is having a sensational game. He's now four for five from the field, and that is his second three. I tell you, he comes in the game 19 minutes, 18 minutes, and he gives you nine to ten points every night. C.J. Miles, a rain-making triple off the mark. It's out of bounds and will stay down here with Utah. Largest lead of the night for the Lakers. What a turnaround night for Vujicic. Yo, you're happy for him, but, you know, shooters... He forgot all about the other night because it was a good win for the team. He walks out of the building. He was here early tonight working on his three-point game. Williams inside. Tough finish by Darren Williams, who leads Utah with nine points on four of eight from the field. I'd like to talk about the Laker defense. They have five steals, four blocked shots, which started the break. 16 to 2 in the break wow. in favor of the Lakers. 16 wow. to 2. That, that's a big number, Mike. We expect him to lead in that yes. column, but in a first half like that, Bryant slipping inside. Oh, four fouls Kobe, and he's coming to the line for free throw attempts 9 and 10 on the night. You were talking to Sasha Vujicic. Lisa has more on Sasha and that toe injury. The toe injury. The toe injury that Hubie mentioned uh, earlier in the first quarter, I asked Sasha about it because I don't think a lot of people know how much pain he is in. He reminded me that he injured it in game two of this series, and he said that he has to take injections just in order to be able to play. So I asked him, once those injections wear off, how does the toe feel? And he said, very painful. I can't even walk without those injections. You saw him fixing his uh, long hair. He had the buzz cut, went to the longer hair, so he had a tougher look about him. But his hair was getting in his eyes. But uh, Lisa Estrada, who's the director of the Laker Girls, this was pointed out by Bill Plasky in a great column in the LA Times this week. Lisa told him, use this black band, so assist to the Laker Girls on Sasha's hair through these playoffs. J. Miles inside. Every time that they run the flex offense, where they run down screens on both sides of the lane, run curls, or change direction, and go on the back door move underneath the rim, something good is happening. They get a lay a wide open shot. Right. Spinning. Oh, great pass. Went for Gasol. Good job, Miles, to take it away. Now, the zone was there. The double team came. Good pass, but an excellent strip from the defense. If you're sitting in Jerry Sloan's seat, are you thinking 10 by halftime? Well, that's what you're thinking. You always sell that. Everything is from a positive standpoint, Mike, because you're at home, you can come back here. Erlingo comes to the line. The Lakers are over the limit here with 2.17 to go. Utah trying to dig in. The summer calls for the Jazz, and they can't turn it around. Worth story you just saw. Erlingo comes to the free throw line here, Hubie. The Jazz starters have only made 11 field goals thus far. And Jerry Sloan stars have taken 29 shots. Well, in this series, Mike Kurilenko and Ronnie Brewer have done an excellent job. Between them, they, they've been scoring 23, 24 points a night. Uh -huh. They're rather quiet. Then Okur, a key guy for you, is one for seven. Now, Okur is averaging 18 points. So give Lamar Odom a lot of credit, you know, for playing him and staying with him and forcing him into a lot of difficult shot attempts. And that sore Achilles that hampered him a bit game four yes. and game five. Jazz back to the zone look. And the two-minute mark to Sol. Sufficient. Extra pass. Rodmanovic missed it. Rebounded by Miles. A little bit more zone. Rare to see Jerry Sloan go zone. Yeah, but you're trying to change tempo. They were carving up your defense. Oh, yeah, Miles. He can hit that. Didn't do it there. Kobe the rebound. Key minutes here for C.J. Miles in an elimination game. Well, Jerry's you know, searching. He's searching for someone who can make an outside shot other than Darren Williams. Fisher. 
Boy, not only can he make them, he seems to make them at the most opportune time for his team. Well, Fisher, uh, you made a good point early, Mike. You know, he, he had 10 coming in, 10 makes coming in and shooting 63%. That is a staggering stat in a playoff series. Mm. Fisher's doing a great job at both ends. Miles, a lot of individual work, turned it over. Well, I jinxed the young man. I, I blew a lot of smoke there, you know, a, a few minutes back. But I tell you, the young guy has got talent, and when Jerry uses him during the year, he's been able to answer and score points. Tonight he's struggling a little bit. But a player like him only needs is one good one, and then who knows what could happen. Lakers 5 of 9 from 3. Jazz go back to the man-to-man. -man. Come on, you got to throw the ball to Kobe. He's in the post. He wanted the ball because he wants to take Karolinko one-on-one. Pumping, faking. Who's with the board? Yeah, I thought Karolinko got a piece of that, Mike. Fisher Great. took it away from Williams again. He's done that so yeah. often. Great steal. To Gasol. <laughs> Karolinko slapped it to Miles. 30 seconds left, 16-point lead. Now, that was a great play by Karolenko. He's an extremely unselfish guy. He gets his shot blocked. He'll rebound the ball. He gets deflections and steals. He's just not measured in points. Williams and Boozer. Carlos is going to go the other way. Yeah, yeah. Joey Crawford punches the offensive foul. Well, he steps in with the shoulder. Joey's saying that he caught him with his shoulder as he stepped in. Now, just keep an eye on it right there. See, the lead shoulder is what caused the space. Now, the Utah fan is saying, yeah, but that was a flop. Well, sometimes when you get hit, when you get hit hard and you're propelling your feet backwards because you want to try to stay with the dribbler, that's what's going to happen. The foul on Boozer was his second. The shot clock is off. Suriyas going to check in for Los Angeles here. <laughs> Back to game two of this series, which was a Laker 120 to 110 win. Utah shot 41 percent from the field in that first half. And that was their worst first half of the series. Yeah, everything's off here. They're playing the man to man. Fisher hit by Williams. Let's see a foul was called by Scott Foster here at the end of the half. Now at triple zero, they have to go check to make sure right. that a foul happened with time on the clock. So they will go take a peek and was it a foul shooting three. So a couple of things to check here at the end of the half. Well, we're seeing a ton of frustration, not only by the fans, which you would expect, but frustration from the Utah Jazz. The low shooting percentage, the rash of turnovers, the missed easy shots, and the fact that they cannot defend in the half court game or the transition game. All right, so there was the contact. They'll probably put a few tenths of a second back on the clock, and the foul will be called on Williams. And also got to check to see if it was a three or a two. Well, from here, he's yep. definitely behind the line, Correct. Mike. Yep. So the foul's on Williams. It will be a three. Three free throws are coming, and they'll put nine tenths of a second back on the clock, because that's the time when the foul occurs. Now, he catches the ball on that shot block, no doubt about it. But he catches the elbow and right down the forearm with his forearm. The referee was standing three feet away. That was an easy call. Yep. Fisher, who played here last year, as you well know, you remember the emotional story with his daughter. Larry Miller, the Jazz owner, as you said so well, game three did the right thing, allowing Fisher out of his contract so he could be in L.A., closer to the top medical treatment available for his daughter, who is doing better after the retinoblastoma, the eye cancer. But you pointed out all year, people were talking about the addition of Gasol, the great first part of the season of Bynum, the MVP season for Kobe. This guy means so much. You're right on, Mike. Not only is he a leader, He's a good defender, and then he gives you another playmaker. It takes the pressure off of Kobe that he must lead the team from the point guard position under pressure when the game is at stake. Fisher gives you that total experience, and in this, in this series, you can see the value of the three-point shot along with it. Now, right now, Kobe and Fisher have 29 points, five assists, and zero turnovers at halftime. 
Final nine tenths, it will be Miles. It's halftime. The Jazz did trail by 19 in game one. And they are in a whole world of trouble tonight. In game six. 62-43. Here's Leafs with Kobe. Thanks, Mike. Kobe, the difference in the game, the transition points, it's huge. How have you guys been able to be so effective out running tonight? Well, we're getting steals. You know, we're getting our hands on balls. We're rebounding pretty well. And we're able to get out. Now, I'm beginning to think after that first half performance that you just had that you made that whole thing up about your back. How have you been able to be so effective with it? Uh, just treatment. We did treatment around the clock. <laughs> yeah, it's a fictitious injury. Uh, it's playing possum. Muhammad Ali Robodope. <laughs> but really, how have you been so effective with yeah, it? Just treatment around the clock. I mean, my back's as close to 100% as it's going to get with or without the injury. So, you know, they really did a phenomenal job, and, you know, that's why I'm able to play at a high level right now. All right, thanks a lot. You got it. As we have played all season long, we just broke down defensively and gave up too many layups. I asked him about the moods. He sensed that players felt that they could get back in it. And he said players were naturally down, but, you know, they've got to understand that we've got a long way to go, but they can't just go jacking up threes. We've got to chip away at it. We're not going to get it back all at once. Karolinko kept that one alive, Lisa, and Ronnie Brewer with the basket and a foul to get them going here in the third quarter. Lisa mentioned Phil Johnson, one of the most loyal assistants in the NBA. 20 years with Jerry Sloan. He was the coach of the Kansas City Omaha Kings That's and right. was the coach of the year 33 years ago in this league. He has been mentioned in the conversation for the Phoenix opening, among with other prominent names. Our colleague Mark Jackson reportedly interviewing today. But nice to see Phil get that kind of notoriety. And a lot of people forget that even when the team moved from Kansas City to Sacramento, he coached them three years in Sacramento also. Outstanding man. He should have been a head coach in this league. You know, but he said, you know what, I've got a great job. Jerry and I really work well together. And their friendship goes back to the days when both of them were working for Dick Mata in Chicago. Off the Bryant miss from Monovich, able to chase it down and keep this trip alive. Utah needs bounces, hustle, but they need a foundation to get within 10. Kobe to Odom. And Lamar Odom scores. It's up. They're just carving them up, Mike. You know, the Lakers have made five threes. They're 16 to 2 on the fast break game. And the fact in that first half, 62 points, only four turnovers. Okor into Odom, looking for the contact and the foul. Got none of it, but it's last touch, they say, by Lamont. This is a situation where you must adjust. And you have to quit complaining because the referees are not going to give it to you. They're calling the game the same way at both ends of the floor, and they're allowing contact. So when that happens, then you've got to adjust. Of course, one of nine. You have to think that Achilles is bothering him a bit. Let's see what that foul will be. A blocking foul is called by Fisher. The officials looked at each other before. Let's uh, hear what Phil Jackson was telling his Laker team at halftime. We'll take care of turnovers. We'll take care of our end of the floor, which is getting good shots and rebound opportunity. You guys are going to get second chance opportunities. You guys know that you got it if you execute. You got it. What about the third quarter? First one? First 12 minutes. First 12 minutes, right? You want to go 12? First 12 minutes. First 12 minutes of the third quarter? Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Bill Jackson, if the uh, Lakers get this win, moves to the conference finals again. And of course, he would be eight wins away, eight really tough wins, but eight wins away from a 10th NBA championship time. Red Auerbach for the most in the history of the league. The soul working on O'Cool. Fourth field goal for Gasol. He has eight to go with the left rebound. They've not been able to handle him any time that they get in the triangle offense. They slow the game down and they stay within what they're doing. They're able to beat them in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Brewer never caught it, tried to finish, oh! got it back. They say it was tied up, so he was able to go back up with it. And Boozer scores inside first four field goal. Mike, I like the energy. They come out here now, the Utah Jazz. They're not giving up. They're attacking the basket because it's, they can get it back to 10 at the end of three. You get it back to 10, you're right back in this game. It's amazing. That has been the theme from Jerry Sloan throughout the series as Bryant rims out. Bring early energy, and they have 
not done it too often in this series. I see that's what we mean by stopping the dribble high. Now, what, once Fisher stops Darren Williams, now you're dealing with a guy who is saying, I'm now going to take it and create. Now, just watch. He gets picked off a little bit by his own man. And now that is just an incredible finish. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> He and Chris Paul have emerged over the last two years of the playoffs. Those back-to-back -back picks in the draft, 13-point game. Here you are. You're right back in it because of the defense. Just keep pushing. Brewer knocked it away. Dives to keep it alive. It is still inbound. Oh, out of bounds. Okay. Couldn't hear Scott Foster's whistle. And then um, with the hand signal. 16 to shoot for the Lakers. Ronnie Brewer has made some things happen. We've only played a couple of minutes here. And he not only has a couple of scores, he's attacking, he's making things happen, he's got a rebound, and that was a great effort. Ryan cutting. Two. Back to 15, and Williams trying to push here. The Lakers have three team fouls in this quarter, Utah none. And so one way to mount to come back gets to the free throw line. Williams, it's three. Radmanovic gets the rebound, almost threw it away. Bryant up in the air. Kirilenko never stopped running. It is four on three. Four on three. You got to get something here. Boucher. Missed it. When you get those opportunities, it's got to happen for you. Bryant three as the uh, players try to match back up in transition to the deck and fouled by Drew. Kobe understands that he's not going to force a three. He realizes that three-point game, he's only shooting 80 for 18 percent in this series. So he gives you a little ball fake, and then he takes you off the dribble because that's his strong suit throughout this entire series. He can get in the paint and get an open shot or get fouled. And Gasol is getting that at will on O'Cool. Well, they continue to play man-to-man, -man, Mike. There's no double-teaming of the post people. You allow that with Gasol and Odom, they're going to hurt you. Kirilenko. There you go. Just keep fighting back. You can't make it all happen within three minutes. You still have eight more minutes here to work and get another five points. Big thing is, is tighten up your defense. Radmanovic now in the post works out for Oh, he's got to take him. And he knocks that one down as well. Two good back-to-back -back games for Vladimir Radmanovic. He's four of five tonight after hitting three of five threes in L.A. Karolinko, that shot never looked good off his hand. Radmanovic is deceiving because he's six foot nine, easy, and he can make it happen for him. Odom hit on the arm on the way in the act of shooting. He'll come to the line. Boozer with a foul. Utah trying to ride the wave of a, the best home record in the league this season. If you include the playoffs, they're 41 and 5. Their losses to Portland, Boston, Houston twice, including one in the first round of the playoffs. And the Lakers on March 20th came in here and stopped the 19 game home winning streak for the Jazz. Odom missed the first. But as you know, the second round, this is uh, the last five years, Coach, and uh, everybody has asked the question, why? Give me your view on why it's been so dominant this year. Well, I don't think there's a definite answer. Uh, I, I believe that what we're seeing is poor execution offensively on the road by visiting teams. And if you look at them, very, very few of them outside of this series scores 90 points. Right, and then right. the home team gets you down. And then what happens is all of a sudden it goes from 10 to 15 to 20 and the game is over. But you cannot get your defensive surge to get out in the transition game and score at least 90. At least this series, one team has 110 and the other has 108. Ronnie Brewer knocks down that shot. Yeah, you uh, already, the Lakers with their next point will surpass Cleveland's winning total in our first game tonight. 74-69, the Cavaliers beating Boston. It's drastically different game to watch. Odom gets inside. Who's for the rebound? The Lakers have such an advantage any time that they're in the offense. They go one-on-one -on -one with Brian. Uh, uh, 
Kobe Bryant, Odom, or Pal Gasol. And they can take their man if you're not going to double team. Off the Brewer miss. Bryant comes back the other way. Got caught in the air. Found Gasol. And Gasol continues to just dominate from inside. Yeah, he's making it look easy. You know, just a few minutes ago at halftime, Pal Gasol had 11 rebounds and he had three blocks. Now the offensive game is coming to me easy. He has a dozen points. The lead is 18. It was 19 at the break. Boozer misses. He's four of nine. But that's there, Mike. He can do that all night long and he can get inside. The big thing is, though, he's got the finish. Odom at the rim, but a foul is called at the basket. You want to talk about what has happened to Utah tonight. Their front court is 7 of 25 and getting beat inside. Yeah, this is just good good distribution by Kobe Bryant and then Pau Gasol. He's got great hands and he can finish and now right with Lamar Odom. We, we can't emphasize this enough. Kobe Bryant's averaging 15 fouls out of 10. Lamar Odom's averaging over 8, 8 plus. And then you have Gasol pushing at 5 to 6. So they constantly break your game and your defense down when the shot clock is down. And what happens if they don't score? You foul them, you put them on the foul line. One more from Odom, ABC on Sunday. Cleveland at Boston, three game at three. Game seven starts at 3 30. TNT on Monday, we'll have game seven, San Antonio, New Orleans for sure. If the Jazz make a huge comeback, game seven of this series. On Tuesday night, we have the draft lottery on ESPN and then. Game one of the Eastern Finals, either Detroit at Boston or Cleveland at Detroit. Coverage will begin at 8.30 Eastern. The coach and I will see on ESPN Radio for every game of the Eastern Finals. We look forward to that. Williams on the cut inside. Uh, Darren Williams has done a nice job tonight. Again, 14 points to lead Utah. Mike, in the last two games, Darren Williams, 28 points a game, shooting close to 60%, making a high percentage of three points. He's done it all. Unfortunately, the rest of the group has got to come around here tonight to help him out. Three on one, the Carolinko steal, Lee Williams to power. Oh, yes. The soul easily to the basket, fouled by Boozer, and a timeout is coming. Boozer, Okur, Brewer, all sitting on three fouls. Now keep an eye on the baseline right there. This is a beautiful cut out of the flex offense fight. And now this, this young guy, Ronnie Brewer, has come out and put together. And Coach Utah is only shooting 36% from the field. Well, that, that's been big, Mike, mainly because you add the turnovers, the eight turnovers, and that puts that puts the Lakers out in the open floor. They're 17 to four now in fast break points. So these are the key guys who score the ball for you. Muser, you're expecting 20 points from. Okor is averaging 18, and then Kurilenko is averaging 13 in the series. So these guys are all tied up here. Tonight. So you got to give the Lakers a ton of credit. But you're, you're making a run here right now. Just don't give up on yourself and just try to get it to 10 to start that fourth quarter. Tough catch for Boozer. That group of big men, 7 of 26 from the field with that miss. And the length of Odom and Gasol has been a factor throughout this series yes. on the interior. Absolutely. Bryant tried to throw it to Gasol. Two Utah players waiting, but it came right back to Kobe, who set up Rachmanovich for another three. And Vladimir continues his good night. Every Lakers starter is in double figures. Mike, that's that's the kind of night it's been. Instead of them fast breaking to the other end, Kobe gets the ball, and then Radmanovic knocks in his second three. Okur knocks down his first three on his first three-point try of the night. Well, they've been waiting for that. You know, before that attempt, three for 16 between Karolenko and Okur. Three for 16 from the floor. Two guys who shoot a high percentage point. Fisher and Williams. Soul is off. Cruiser gets fouled by Lamar. There's been a lot of complaining by the Utah fans about the fouls tonight. By the way, fouls are exactly even. Each team has been called for 15 fouls. And there you see the Lakers' six players, including Vujicic off the bench in double figures. They could not have played a better game than they have up until this point. Now we know there's still plenty of time here. 16-point lead. Lakers tried to get 
to the Western Conference Finals. Marty Aronoff, I never give up on a game. Right. <laughs> Marty, our crack statistician here. Okur for two, back to 14. That's right, here you come. The fans, they're hopeful. They're trying to rally the guys, but I like their effort. They came out, and they're really putting up a, a good effort here right now, defensively, and then trying offensively to make some things happen. Look out here. Radimanovic and Gasol, the two-man game. Vladimir missing. Williams the push. Darren out of Illinois. When you push that hard, if you get a mismatch someplace else, oh. you can get it done. Nice. Oh boy. Everything but the finish. No, that, that was that, that was a difficult shot attempt, but the idea was terrific. We go the other way. Offensive foul. They needed that, Mike. On Kobe. They needed that as a defensive team. The people in the building needed it. And now Kobe, we know, did not need it. But we can see that he slowed his game down here right now. And I like what Phil said earlier in the game. He's picking his spots. He's taking his time. He's not forcing anything. See the pick and roll comes here with Williams and Boozer. He, he has the right to be upset. They were too late getting into the offense. Karolinko tries three. Hasn't hit one all series. Uh, 0 for 9 in the series from 3 for Andre, who's a 38 three-point shooter, 38 percent shooter on the season. Karen Lincoln knocked that one away. Bird took it away. Good defense. Williams. Boozer. We go the other way. Offensive foul on Carlos. Get a timeout. Four fouls on Carlos Boozer, 2.20 to go in an elimination game for the Utah Jazz. Now, this is off the dribble down in that area. All right, the defensive circle is thrown out in that situation. Excellent call. Right, in the lower box, the rest of uh, Chauncey Phillips' hamstring going back to the game. He didn't play about uh, 12 days before the Pistons start game one. Eastern Finals Tuesday night. Paul Millsap ejected for Boozer at the timeout. Fouls Gasol. It puts the Jazz over the limit and sends Gasol to the line. Once again, the Lakers come out of a timeout and they get a plus, either a foul or a basket. And that's what you like to see. You take the timeout, you go in there, you explain things, and then your players come out of it and run it perfectly. Before we get too far away from it, what do you think about the Game 7 we know we're going to see in the West on Monday with New Orleans hosting San Antonio? Well, I would, I'm just hoping that West will be available to give him 100%. Now, if he is 100% healthy, let's face it, they are the best second-half team that we have in this league in a home court atmosphere. Not only does Paul do it and West, but Stajakovic shoots a high percentage, and the rest of that team just plays so beautifully together. Of course, this Utah franchise started in New Orleans, 75 through 79. Off the miss by Brewer, Millsap keeps it alive. He's fouled by Luke Walton. They'll send Utah to the free throw line. So here is the story with San Antonio, great at home, struggling on the road like everybody else. Mike, Tim Duncan has not played a good game in New Orleans in this series. Now, he's played extremely well in the games in San Antonio. But he has got to step up and then back up Parker and Ginobili. They've got to come in within the 20s if they're going to get the job done. That's how Rod Hundley, who uh, for many years at the TV on nationally on CBS, calls the Jazz games on radio. He was with the Jazz back in New Orleans. He told me a great story is he called their games the first five years for this franchise. He said he'd sign off and say, Win or lose, good night, everyone. See you at Pat O'Brien's. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the famous watering hole in New Orleans. There'll be party time for game seven down in Louisiana on Monday night. It's 15 here. Bryant Cooper Brewer oh, knocks down another one. Kobe's sixth field goal. He has 20 points on 13 shots tonight. Now, in this series, they've done an excellent job in running him into the post, either on the left side of the lane or coming off of movement into the painted area. And he scores no matter what. If he doesn't score, he'll usually get fouled. Williams ripped out the three. Lead is 17. It was 19 at the break. The last time Utah led this series, when we walked out of here Sunday, game four. The ball is blocked inside. It's off how Utah ball. Uh, excellent block. That was an unselfish play by Kobe Bryant because he definitely could have forced up a shot. 
but he looked for Gasol on the move. And that's what you like to see when you're on the road. The extra pass and then looking for a guy who is cutting, who has a better shot opportunity than you, meaning percentage-wise. No snap, got the block. Okor lingering at the line for three. There you go. He gets lost. It's unbelievable. He just floats, 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 and then gets the three. Well, they need him because he can make the three. And in this series, as this game goes on in the third and fourth quarter, he opens up a lot because Lamar Odom or Gasol, whoever is on him, has a tendency to try to help out in the lane defensively. Bryant, back thrower, missed it, Okur the rebound. Gas to two for one, baby. Okur trailing, triple. Bryant goes up and snatches the rebound away. His seventh to go with six assists. 20 points and a sink up and a shot in game clock. Try not to foul. Now the big thing is they can make the field goal. Millsap came over to oh. make it a tougher shot. Oh. Too bad. <laughs> now Millsap was up there. He's fading out of bounds. Brewer played him great. Williams looked to draw the foul. Did not get it. And the third quarter comes to an end with Jerry Sloan by midcourt saying, Guinness won here. Now the referees are saying that he moved his body in to create the contact, and they did not give him the call. The Lakers, one quarter from the Western Finals. Welcome back to Energy Solutions Arena. Jerry, your guys clearly not happy with the officiating. How do you get your guys to just forget about it and keep plugging? I don't think they're happy with a lot of things right now. The way they're, we're giving up a lot of layups, they're just killing us inside with their play, and uh, I think they got to concentrate on trying to make stops and take their layups away from them. Officiate and take care of itself. It always does. Phil Johnson told me that in the first half, it was the defense that was breaking down. What improvements did you see in that third Well, game? our defense, again, it breaks down because we take tough shots, and we're not able to change ends with them. Right, thank you for your time. Please, thank you. Thank you to Jerry Sloan as well. Kobe's hoop there toward the end. Utah outscored Los Angeles by three. Okay, well, we have a second of our last TV game for the year. You and I will do the Eastern Finals, the NBA Finals on ESPN Radio. But thank you to the coaches in the league for the access this year, locker room, and the, at the end of the first and third, and the public relations staffs of all 30 teams around the NBA. You make our job a pleasure and a lot easier, and we thank you for your extension of the league to the fans at home every night. Luke Walton starts the fourth with a miss. Millsap, Harper, and Boozer, Williams, and Corver. Can you erase the deficit that Utah has felt since the end of game four here in Salt Lake City? Now, the Jazz is shooting 35%. And the reason why this is such a big upset in this building, they are the second best shooting team in the league at 49.8. So it, it's, it's kind of surprising. The people have never seen them, you know, just desperate over, you know, the first three quarters Absolutely. of a big game. Williams pushed that one up. Boozer was waiting for the pass at the opposite elbow. It didn't come. It's Walton, Odom, Farmar, Puyas hit to at 10 in the second quarter, and Turiaf trying to keep the Lakers in position to make the Western Conference Finals for the first time in four years. Turiaf to show and go. Boozer slapped it, but got Ronnie. Ronnie. And it's five on Boozer. Now that was too easy. The shot clock was at four when Turiaf made a move. And it's just surprising how easily the avenue opened up for the dribbler to go to the rim. See if Jerry Sloan keeps Boozer out there with five personal fouls. I was wondering if he's sweating. Turiaf always does that. Rubs his forehead before he shoots. Well, Turiaf has been a force in this series when he has played. Yes. Not only with the rebounding, but with the shot blocking. And, he, and as you know, he takes up a lot of space inside. And as you know, it'll be Kevin Garnett and the Celtics back at the home whites trying to win game seven. Can LeBron will the Cavaliers and bring his teammates with him to winning game seven in Boston. Sunday, 3 Eastern on ABC. The winner gets Detroit the Eastern Finals, which begin on Tuesday. ESPN and ABC will have every game of the Eastern Finals. And our friends at TNT will have every game of the West Finals. And those will start on Wednesday in Los Angeles if the Lakers close out here tonight. Harpering's off the mark. Boozer put back no. Odom takes it away. They just cannot get the second. When they do, 
occasionally get a second chance opportunity, they've not been able to score. And we told you in the previous games, they're averaging over 20 points a game in second chance points. Largest lead for the Lakers has been 19 tonight. Luke Walton can't match that for the free throw line double. Darren Williams is pushing to go in that far mark. Curry has the block. Bill Sapp cleans up. Nice. I like Darren Williams. He's not giving out. He, he's putting a lot of energy into this. Unfortunately for them, they're four for 16 and threes. Now that's 25%. They have to, they have Corver in there right now to help them out. Hopefully that he can run a little, little streak along with Darren Williams. We had hit, chased off the line by Corver, got inside for two. He can do that to Corver. He can take Corver off the dribble any time. Everyone just thinks Kuyacic is going to take the jump shot. That's his 12th point of the game, and, and he is a contributor. That foul's on the box as Boozer made the catch. Because he's such a high percentage three-point shooter, all he has to do is give you a fake, and then once he puts it down, he'll get by Corver. There's no doubt about it. The machine is Nick there. That ability to knock down that outside shot. Fouls on Curry after his second. Each team, one team foul in the quarter. Sasha was ready for Corford to catch and shoot. Made it put it on the deck. Williams steps into three. Four of 17. Yeah, this, this is the bad stat in the game, Mike. We know that they're struggling, but you can struggle with your two-point if you can make a decent three-point percentage shooting. And, and this team, they're not a great team. They ranked 10th in the league during the regular season. But they do get it up there, and they can make it. But not tonight. And the moving screen is called on Turia. Yeah, when you're moving that quick, you know, Farmer and Vujicic, they come off these screens, Mike, really fast. So the guy setting the screen, you've got to hold your spot. Jazz have not had a single-digit deficit since 4.45 left in the first quarter. That deficit is 15 now as Millsap, three years the leading rebounder in college basketball at Louisiana Tech, scores inside. Kujicic comes up short, harping the rebound. Millsap. There you go. Good timeout by Phil Jackson. Well, this might be it. This might be the last chance in the starting blocks for Utah to make a run. Millsap has six in the quarter as the bench tries to pull Utah out of the slump from the field. It's been a long time since the Los Angeles Lakers have won a playoff game here. In Salt Lake City, they've only won one. It was game four. Frank Layden was the coach of the Jazz, playing in the old Salt Palace. 20 years ago yesterday, Kareem, Worthy, and Magic Cubie, they were down 2-1. They lost the game at the four, but came back to win game four here in Utah. The only Laker playoff win in nine tries in Salt Lake City. The Lakers then went on to win the Western Conference Finals. There's Scott Layden, yes, son of son. Frank Layden, right. who we saw there. The Lakers beat Dallas in seven in the Western Conference Finals and then beat the Pistons in seven to win the 88 title. The back-to-back. Corver, as they got it back, is fouled by Vujicic. And very slowly, Utah trying to climb back in with one last run. And Phil Jackson brought Kobe and Pau Gasol back in at that timeout. Well, he, he knows that this is the critical time in this game. Also, that the five guys that Jerry Sloan has out there representing Utah, this is the first good, solid stretch of defense that he's seen in a while. Corver hounded by Boozer. They need your spacing here now. Boozer nice. with five fouls, goes baseline. Millsack crashing the glass. Foul is called. I like the I like the energy move by Boozer. You know he fooled Gasol. He got to the rim. Sure, the, the shot was blocked. But Millsap and Harpering are in the game right now, and the Lakers have got to take care of their offensive, I mean defensive rebounding. You cannot fall asleep now because you've limited them all game long, and they have not hurt you by scoring with second chance opportunities. Millsap coach has 16 offensive rebounds, 20 rebounds total 
in this series. Just a reminder, WNBA season opens tomorrow. The LA Sparks, Candace Parker added, and Lisa Leslie returns against the defending champ, Phoenix Mercury, 3.30 Eastern on ABC. I see they're digging in right now, Mike. They're playing with a little bit of confidence there. And 19,911 supporting with sound. The soul gives up the dribble. Kobe tends to shoot back to Powell. Boozer has five fouls. What? by Millsap to score it. Full tender. You continue to play Gasol one-on-one -on -one in that situation, he's going to hurt you. And that's what's happened throughout the second half. Now, this is a, a good rotation, but the rotation is late. Off the glass. Can't take it off the glass. It's automatic goal setting. So it's 13. Harpering off a screen. I was surprised that they missed. They missed Darren Williams on the pass to the wing. He cut down. He was wide open in the painted area. Right back to Gasol working on Boozer with five. The double comes from Williams. He's free. Gasol took it himself. Curry out, weak side, gonna go the other way. Loose ball foul, Los Angeles. Yeah, good call, excellent call. They call that from the rear, the trail guy, Joey Crawford, had that all the way. Big thing right now is, if Boozer's gonna play Gasol, I like what the Lakers are doing. Because Gasol, if you're not gonna double team, he can shoot up over the top of Boozer at will. Williams goes and he points in a hurry. Curry out, goes up at the rim and blocks it with his five foul. I tell you, it's getting rough under there right now. Millsap and Harpering are giving up their bodies to get the second chance opportunity. Williams working Farmar. Oh, oh that is beautiful. Darren Williams. Oh, Mike, what a beautiful move. Two great ones tonight. Yeah. He's, he's been great in this series. Yes, really he has. has. Back to 11. Frank Hamblin, the assistant, just reminded us, so he has five fouls. Go after him. No six there. It's a turnover. Can they get it to single digits? Millsap! Yeah. Los Angeles. Paul Millsap, 10 points, 5 rebounds. In this fourth quarter, the Nets has been as large as 19 for the first time since the 445 mark in the first. It's a single digit deficit. Aren't you glad you stayed up? And it is very loud in here as they try to will the Jazz to a Game 7 Monday night in Los Angeles. Mike, the Utah Jazz, Harpering and Millsap. Five offensive rebounds in this quarter. And we told you, these are two of your hardest, toughest guys that you have on your team. And they're out here guarding and making things happen. Harpering, Harp oh yeah. Wow, right, yes, elbow. yes, he did. Boy, you got it, Mike. You had that right on it. They were fighting for that spot. Yes, they were. Harpering bodies up Kobe when he goes into the post. And that's what I like. But Kobe threw that left elbow, came right back, caught Harpering right on the jaw. Jazz try to get into seven or six. Boozer. Yes. There you go. Wow. That's been there, Mike. That's been there all the time. Just catch it, turn, and make it, put it down on the floor. Gasol will give you the space. Now it's up to you to score or take it to the rim and force the foul. Lakers once led 80 and 61. Fisher got in the lane on Williams. Oh, Stops boy. the bounce to go. <laughs> Difficult. Yeah. Difficult. Now he has 15 points in this game. He's averaging 13 throughout this series. He's been so consistent. Crossover Williams to Boozer from the elbow. Off the mark. Harpering goes and gets guy. it. Got foul. It's Harpering, I'm telling you, Harpering and, and Millsap. Every coach in the country would love to have them on their team. That is Harpering's fifth offensive rebound in this game. Between he and Millsap, they have a total of eight. Four fouls on Bryant now. As you saw, he has not taken a shot here in this fourth quarter. Didn't take one in game five. Harpering to the line. To be attempts 24 and 25 for Utah. The Lakers have taken 27 free throws. Watch Kobe here. Now keep an eye on Kobe to the right of your screen. Yeah, that was an easy call. An easy call. And I don't know why everybody's all upset over on the Laker bench. Because it happened right in front of them. Down to seven. Hasn't been this close since 4.45 left in the first quarter. Why you never give up on an NBA game. If you can defend and take care of your defensive rebounding, you got a shot.
Bryant wants it. Let's see, takes a shot this time. No, oh, turned away by Harpring. Oh, Harpring played him well last time. How about a shot now? That's what he does best. I mean, it's amazing how he can put a dagger in your heart. Silencer from Kobe was 25 on 8 of 16 from the field. Back to a 10-point lead. Take your time and just get a good shot. Boozer rolling to the goal. He cannot hit those shots. I think he's fouled out. That's it. That's it. Six on Boozer. He's gone. Now he, he had a high percentage shot. That, that's his area of expertise. Once he catches it in there, good things usually happen. And then he just got frustrated. He went over the back of a defensive player. Just keep an eye on it right there. You can see the collision. He hit Gasol right in the head. He leaves with 12 points on 5 of 16 from the field. Which means that he averaged 16 points a game in this series if the series comes to an end. And shot at a pretty poor percentage for him. Bryant foul. Oh, he banked it in! Oh, brother. Whoa! Huh. Well, I, I think this game has been scripted anyway by the coaching staff of the Lakers. They came out with a perfect first half. Then they teased you and allowed you back in. And now this guy has just put in two incredible shots. <laughs> Comes to the line to make it 13. So uh, as you have seen so often before, Bryant taking over the game when his team needed it. Hit the two. Now completes the three-point play. Six points in 33 seconds. Boozer fouls out. And in that half minute, my, how things change quickly. A seven-point game to a 13. It was Karolinko who came in for Boozer. William. He and Kobe will be teammates on Team USA if Williams makes the team. So many good point guards for the Olympics in Beijing with Chris Paul, Jason Kidd, John C. Phillips, part of that USA basketball. The deflection by Karolinko, it's out off Andre, 15 to shoot for LA. Brian and Williams both going back and forth today, really impressed with each other. That teammate experience really showed them a lot about each other, and especially Kobe earned the very, very high marks that he now gives Darren Williams. Well, Darren deserves a mic. He is, he's just developed a, now that he makes the three-point shot. Coming into this game, we told you, he made 13 threes in this series. Odom fighting inside. A lot of contact, no oh, call. You got an advantage now, five on four. No sap. Offensive foul. Kuyacic standing right there waiting for him. And Gutty enough to take it from a big guy in Millsap. Now everyone says take the charge, take the charge. That's because you're sitting having a ham sandwich <laughs> in a nice easy chair. And this express train is coming at you, 680, about 240. And he's going to take it right into your chest. <laughs> take it for the team. Wow. Wow. Shot to the chin. That's right. Do you prefer cheese on that ham sandwich, by the way? Yeah. Or just the ham? <laughs> it always uh, looks so much easier when you're does. sitting on your so sofa. Right. So right. <laughs> 11-point lead for Los Angeles. Yeah, they'll take their time. The soul passed into tight quarters, and Odom puts the third on with you. Be more patient on Yeah, absolutely. And there was no need to do that because he had to thread the needle. One of the very few bad decisions the soul has made in a passing situation. Los Angeles has turned it over five times in this fourth quarter. Okor with a finger on the trap. Yeah, good call. Excellent call. I mean, he was trying. That was a, a good idea uh, by Okor. Oh, but he needed that extra bounce. Unfortunately for him, he elevated too early. Okor and Boozer, 9 of 29 tonight. You love this unit that they have out there now. This is their small unit with Kobe at small forward. When you have Kobe at small forward, you have Guyacic and then Fisher in the backcourt. So you got some dynamite shooters out there. Not much noise left for these fans. Down 11, 2.55 to go in Utah. We've seen Kobe Bryant throughout the series show that MVP form.
Uh, and he, he's in, in, in the game, Mike, whether it's a three, whether he's coming off the dribble. He has just made miraculous shots here this evening. This was the dagger that we just saw a few minutes ago. And then he backs it up with this one off the glass and gets fouled and then has enough to also answer the crowd who was in his ear you know, at the, that time. There are 19,900 very, very terrific basketball fans. About 11 here have acted like four-year-olds with their language and people throwing stuff at the Laker bench during the last time out. It's a shame it ruins it for an outstanding group of fans here in Salt Lake City with those uh, sophomoric acts. Eight to shoot for Darren Williams. Down 11. Utah needs something. And their star gives them three. Now, Kobe, when he came into the game, I like what Phil Jackson did. He ran him into the post two times in a row, unsuccessful. Then Kobe came back and made the two long, long jump shots. They were his first two shots of the fourth quarter. Great awareness by Vujicic. Saw the clock running down. Bryant at the basket. And the foul is called as Millsap was trying to draw the contact inside. Now just keep an eye down to the left of the screen. You're going to see he catches him. Now, they're, what they're saying is right there that he moved. He moved and he caught him with his shoulder. Tough one there as uh, Kobe comes to the line. Here's Lee. Oh, my. Kobe Bryant was fired up during that last time. I, he was emphatically telling his teammates, stop worrying about the official. Let's go. He even called his own impromptu huddle and said, bring it in, guys. Physically pulled Sasha Vujicic up off the bench because Sasha apparently was not moving quickly enough. He said, let's finish these guys off right now. Let's blow them out from here to the end of the game. Right? Hey, close out game. When you have the ability and you wear the mantle of MVP in the league, your leadership is on display in moments like this. Well, he's just done a great job throughout the entire season leading this young team and especially the bench people. And Gujicic has come into his own because of this type of a discipline by the coaching staff as well as Kobe Bryant. Okora three, seven point game. Bryant has scored the last eight for LA. Williams and Okora with threes, keeping Utah's big season hopes alive. Now you can't foul here right now. You just cannot foul. You gotta get him to miss. Utah still has three timeouts to take. 100 seconds. Tough, tough cover here right now. One on one. Bryant to his left from the elbow. Missed it. Trying to get the rebound. Williams does. Utah on the run. Williams looking at the line. Goes around Fisher. Odom waits. Teardrop. Yes. No. Oh, thought it was going to go in. Fisher kept it alive. Millsap. Okora two. Kobe goes up and gets the rebound. Oh, 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 the oh. Charge. Yeah, tough. Locking foul call. Yeah, it's really a tough collision right here. Now you, you can see, you can see Williams get knocked right back as he got popped right, right in the face. Now keep an eye right there. He catches, he catches the shoulder, the shoulder and the forearm of Kobe. Keep an eye on the left there. See right there. He catches that right in the chest. For Bryant, it will be free throws 14 and 15 on the night. Well, he's answered the bell. He's handling the ball under all this extreme pressure. He's now up over 32 points, but how about the eight rebounds and the six assists that's going with his total game? Bryant has the last 10 Laker points. He's 78 of 94 from the line in these six games. Very seldom ever see a guard average 15 foul shots in a series, Mike. That's so difficult to do. Oh, four hits a three. 103-97. Two possession game. Now you're, you're just, just, just don't foul. The main thing is you've got to force them to make the shot. And everybody's got to understand the shot clock. And they're going one four. They'll go one four and allow him. This is he and Karolinko right now. Kobe has scored the last ten. Takes Karolinko. Great block. Karolinko. Great block. Must score for Utah. Former running to the three-point line. Williams kicked it out. Okor fakes it. Takes it two. Missed it. Horford got the rebound. Time running down. What will they do? 
Gotta go quick. Karolinko hasn't hit a three until now. Three point game. No. They, right now, Darren Williams wanted to, you, you, You've got to be able to get the ball here right now. Time out, cannot, Lakers. Time out, Lakers. That's right. You cannot allow them to run the clock. Darren Williams called to the bench, and he motioned, should we foul? Should we foul? The big thing is there's only a second over the shot clock right here. That's well, interesting. With that ball inbounded, can they advance the ball to the front court? We'll see here. Here's the block first by Millsap and Great Sterling. Play. Great play. Great defensive play. And then at the other end, this is, this is just a beautiful move by Carol Ankle, accepting the pressure and then shooting and making the three. Good shape. Fisher, Gasol, Kobe, Sasha Gleevich in the backcourt, and Lamar Odom for the trigger. Goes right to Bryant, doubled on the sideline, waiting for the foul to happen. It does not to Odom, oh. who gets fouled Come on, you, by you, Williams. You cannot lose those precious seconds, Mike. Come on, you got to foul him right away. There's no way that you were going to get a steal in that situation. Once he made the catch, the key thing is now is get, get, get the foul so you stop the clock. Everything is clock management. Odom, three of five at the line after six seconds went off the clock. Now, Odom is shooting 70% in, in this series, but he's averaging over eight a game. Eight foul shot attempts a game. Two possession game. Barring a mental mistake of a foul and a three point shot. The Jazz have three timeouts left. Two 20s and a full. So you're in good shape, right? The main thing is if Odom misses this, you must get this rebound. Call it, get the rebound, you call a timeout. Got it. Five point game, timeout Jazz. 19.4 to go. They take a 20, we'll be right back. Utah, season down to its final breath. Jackson and Michelle Tafoya from Boston. Mike, this is a situation where you want to score as quick as you can. You got two possessions. Most teams will not foul you if you drive hard to the basket. The big thing is that you only take a three if you're wide open. Big thing is you need a quick score. Williams back to Kirilenko for another three. He got it! it Two-point game! Two guys, two guys played Darren Williams. Now, he got popped on the two guys played him, and that opened up Karolinko coming from out of bounds. He was wide open on that shot. They Keep an eye on it. Right Just one. Hey, see, the both guys go right to him, opened it right up, and this is, and this is a tough pressure yeah. shot for Karolinko. There's a guy who did nothing from behind the arc in the series. Andre Karolinko was 0 for 9 until he made those two. Kobe back to the line. We're seeing some great pressure shooting here. The first, the two by Odom, and then the Kuralinko, you know, two, three, two threes, and now Kobe on the line again. Utah still has two timeouts left, so they can stop it right here. Back to a two possession game. Timeout Jazz, 107, 103, 15.5 to go. Can they hit another three? Their last five field goals have been three. But the big thing right now is try to get the quick, the quick shot. There it is, right that there. Dunk. Perfect. Great clock management. Two point now deny. You got, one. you got to deny. Ah. Fisher gets fouled. Fisher comes to the line. Eighth best shooter in the league this year at 88 percent. And Fisher on the day has made all six of his free throws. Mike, we're seeing excellent clock management. This is beautifully run. The team is doing exactly what the coaching staff wants. From Utah. Unfortunately, at this end, up until Fisher's two right now, they are answering, the Lakers are answering by making the pressure foul shot. And foul on Darren Williams was his fifth. Boozer has fouled out. Fisher for two. The guy who was so important to the growth of many of these young Utah players yeah. has really been a glue guy on this Laker team to make it a two possession game again. Now two veteran guys stepping to the line, both of them 12 year vets. Sure. Oh, you got to get it. No set. Got a chance down three. It's Williams. Kyle Korver. Oh, Korver three. Sure. Maybe another chance. One.
Williams finds the line for the season to stay alive. No good, and it's over. And for the first time in four years, the Los Angeles Lakers will go to the Western Conference Finals. Utah was down double digits all the way. They scraped back. They had a shot to tie it. Two of them, as a matter of fact, couldn't make it. And the Jazz season comes to an end with their sixth home loss. The Los Angeles Lakers will host the Western Conference Finals starting on Wednesday. What a finish. They don't use the timeout. Now this is uh, that's okay. The main because they got what they wanted. They got a wide open three by Elcor. Now this one, all right, a little contested, but your best three point shooter in this series was taking the shot. So you got two good looks by your two key guys who have been shooting a high percentage throughout. And I like the fact that they they just pushed it as quick as they could, and it opened up for them in a transition. The Los Angeles Lakers win 108 to 105 Bryant 34 eight rebounds six assists as this disappointed crowd says thank you to a great season for their jazz players here's Lisa Salters with Kobe thanks Mike Kobe what were you thinking when not one but two possible game tying shots went up there uh, you know just contest it and uh, you know if they miss get the rebound now this wasn't a game you guys had such a big lead we didn't think it would come down to the last shot what changed with you guys that allowed them to get back in it well, you know, I think we had some turnovers there. We didn't execute as well as we should have. And, uh, you know, a Jerry Sloan team is going to keep fighting all the way to the end. And for you, just like in game game five, you didn't attempt a single shot midway in that fourth quarter until they got it to within seven. What changed with your mindset then? I just had to be aggressive. You know, that was my time. You know, my teammates did a great job keeping the defense honest for me. In the fourth quarter, I go to work. And ultimately, you got the win. What do you say about your teammates? You know, we played with a lot of heart. We played well. You know, I think it shows a lot of maturity on our part. To come in a place where you know they lost five times all year and uh, to win a big one. And the home, the road team doesn't get a lot of wins in this in these playoffs. Yeah. It seems like. So what does it say about about you guys that you were able to come in here in this environment, especially in Utah? And get well, this it shows game. a lot of maturity. It shows a lot of growth. You know that we're able to execute, especially with staying that run there at the end. We did a good job, um, you know, pushing through it and coming out with the win. Thanks and congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you.